Hello and welcome to the Genuine Learning Blog. My name is Melissa Galasso and today we're going to talk about what happened at last week's AICPA Regional Council meetings. So this was kind of a fun one for me. This is my third and final year on council, uh, which makes me a little sad. Uh, officially, I will roll off in May and some really new cool people have already been nominated to join. So I'm excited to have our transition, but I am sad to see the end of my term come. Um, but obviously I started council if you can count back three years, in the middle of COVID. And so most of my council meetings started virtually. And then we added in-person meetings for our fall and our spring council. However, we have not had a regional council meeting in person uh, that has stayed virtual last year, despite the fall and the spring being in person. Our March meeting was still virtual. And so this was my first uh, in-person meeting for council and for the regional council. And so it was kind of fun. Um, and it's a little bit different because it is actually a regional council. And so they actually go to four cities and break us up into smaller groups. Council is very large, right? It's based on the population uh, and number of CPAs in each state. And they have a certain number allocated to them based on that. Plus those of us like me, who is an at-large member in there, plus state society, uh, you know, representatives, plus AICPA, uh, you know, staff. So it's a, a lot of people at council. Um, and so they break us up in our regional council meetings into regional groups. And each uh, state is assigned to a location. And so North Carolina, which is where I live, was assigned to Dallas, Texas. And so last Friday, I got to go to Dallas, Texas uh, to attend the regional council meeting. And it was kind of fun because we had people from Texas and Georgia, really like that south, you know, southeastern uh, part of the country uh, was included in there. And so we had some really good conversations uh, and small groups. And I actually sat with a group from Mississippi and Texas. So I had a, a nice uh, mix with me of talking still to other um, other people from other states. And so a little bit more uh, personalized, a little bit more conversation, a lot of tabletop conversation, a lot of group work. And so it was a, an ideal time for me to uh, and a great way to spend my Friday. And so I had that opportunity last week. And I just wanted to share a little bit. Some of the agenda is obviously not open to the public. It's not a public meeting. They don't invite the media. Um, so we can't talk about everything we talked about at council. But the agenda, um, just to kind of give you a perspective of what's top of mind for AICPA, Obviously, national pipeline strategy is really important. And so we had um, Lexi Kessler, who is chairing that. She is from Aprio. She is awesome, uh, really trying to figure out how can we handle these pipeline issues where we're seeing uh, people not coming into the funnel, but also leaving the funnel. Uh, and really great conversation there. Sue Coffey from the AICPA and Jennifer Wilson from Convergence Coaching all did a great job. Uh, really impressed with the work that they did and the questions that were raised and really no nothing off the table. They were very much like share your thoughts and I, I really enjoyed that. Obviously, you can't have a council meeting without Barry giving his professional issues update. Um, and so very insightful into some of the happenings that are going on in the profession. Um, but obviously, I really enjoyed the state advocacy um, conversation. So Marta Z, I'm not even going to try to pronounce her last name. Um, she's the vice president of state regulatory and legislative affairs for the AICPA. She gave a great update on things like taxation of services, um, licensing uh, sort of legislation that's out there. ESG reg uh, regulations. So came with a little bit of a, a background of what the AICPA is sort of monitoring and what things that they are following pretty closely. But I have to say, um, towards the very end of the meeting, one of my favorite elements was hearing Carla McCall, who is the next chair of the AICPA, but she's the managing partner of a firm up in the Northeast in the Boston area. Um, and she really talked about human capital of the future. Like she talked about how her firm is just really changing from an input method time to an output method, um, really changing how they look at things like time off, how they look at holidays, uh, and just really put a, what I would say, human first concept. The culture of the firm is phenomenal. Um, I know that they're able to recruit from all over the country, despite being based specifically in the Northeast because of their human first culture. And so she was telling a lot of great stories. And I think it really resonated with a lot of people. And again, while she talked about firm, um, she did mention many times that these are not obviously firm specific issues and they're not firm concepts, right? They're very much a, anybody who's working in this profession. So overall, I had a great time. It was, I think, six hours of meetings and definitely a great opportunity to be talking about the future of the profession and really putting counsel to work in these small group sessions. So 
hopefully in our May meeting when we have it open back up to the public and we do have some other items, we'll, sh we'll swear in our new chair. We'll have uh, well, Corey Ramsey, who's currently the, the chair, he will be rolling off and we'll see Carla McCall join. Uh, and so we'll have really fun uh, opportunity there uh, to continue to work on behalf of the profession and move us forward. So just wanted to share a little bit of an update about what was happening uh, last week. Uh, we had a great time, uh, lots of good conversation. And again, looking forward to just keeping those conversations moving forward and that they don't get left behind. And that those really important things are keeping, uh, we're moving forward. We're not kind of just seeing what happens. We're being proactive in our measurement. So uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. And I hope to see you on a future blog. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.